The soaring cases, deaths, and lack of supplies in India are felt thousands of miles away by members of the India Association of New Hampshire. My parents, my sister, and my husband's family, they are all in India. Not a day goes by that I hear from uh, somebody, some school friend or college friend or some relative that somebody has passed away. The association launched the COVID India Relief Fund, donating $10,000 itself for medical supplies, food and shelter, $1,500 already donated by other Granite Staters. And they're hoping more will join the effort to send help from New Hampshire. Even one part of the globe is affected. It means there is, there's a risk to the entire globe and entire humanity. We have to do something. We can't watch this. State Representative Latha Manjipudi from Nashua says a year ago, India sent help to New Hampshire. They provided N95 for our physicians back when we were lacking PPEs. She organized a group of doctors of Indian origin in the state. They're now returning the favor. Some are providing telemedicine to patients in India. One of their hospitals, Southern New Hampshire Medical Center in Nashua, made a donation toward a shipment of more than 2,000 oxygen concentrators that already flew out of Atlanta, bound for India. And the doctors hope more hospitals and citizens will pitch in from New Hampshire and the rest of the world. It is a global pandemic and we are all in it together. We are one global family. Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.